What's up guys, I'm Salty Mike, and with 3.9 releasing, I thought it would be an ideal video to put out a prison escape video as my first video. A lot of you guys are going to be trying to figure out how to get into prison and how to get out. So I spent a lot of time practicing tonight, and I figured this would be a perfect first video to show you guys. So to start out, you're going to want to start making your way over to wherever block one is. Block one is going to be the location of our initial escape. So once you make your way over there, you're going to look over to your right, and there's going to be a large fan here uh, dug into the rocks. And you're going to notice something different about this fan from all the other fans. It has a hole in it. So we're going to go upstairs and we're gonna make a little jump. At times throughout the video, I'm gonna be very quiet and allow you to take in the ambiance while we are escaping here, since the sounds and everything are very, very unique and very enjoyable to listen to. But now, we're gonna jump over this rail here and get onto the ledge right where the fan is. And then you're gonna creep under, and you're on your way to escaping. Now right below here we have a giant fan that we have to be careful of, but across the way is a cave entrance. And we're going to walk around here on the right to get to the entrance. Now this jump right here is really important. On the way down here, we have to make sure we hit the walls on the side as much as we can, because you do not want to damage your legs while you're in this cave escaping. If you have injured legs, you are not going to be able to make certain jumps, and you are basically dead in the water. Big thing, these blue flowers and these lights are our friend. These are going to be our guides through the cave and how to get out. So starting out, we're going to be making a left here, and at this root system, we're going to climb up on this rock and go through the little tunnel on the left. We're going to follow it to the right, and then make an immediate left, and then an immediate right. You'll see the next blue flower here, and we're going to climb up. We're going to follow the cave down below, and come to the next section of the puzzle and another blue plant. We're going to jump up here on these both rocks and then follow the cave down below and up and to the right. More blue flowers and we're going to follow it to the left and there's some climbing to go on here. And then we make our way to our first jump puzzle. We're going to turn around and you'll see the next platform to jump to. You'll jump to the next platform and climb up. We're going to have a series of climbs here that lead us to a blue flower. We're going to follow that to the right where we see a second blue flower. If you go to the left, you can fall down a hole and make it all the way back to where we started. Now after those series of climbs, you're going to come up to this ledge here where we see a blue plant and a light. This is going to be our first really big jump, so you're going to need to run and jump for this one. 
Now it may seem like you want to go down the hallway to the right, but the pink light and the blue plant indicate otherwise. We have another big jump here. Immediately we see our next platform here on the right, and we're going to jump to that from right about here. You are going to need a little bit of a run and a jump. Right behind us is the next platform. You're going to want to use this little rock in front of you as a ramp. And there we go. To our right is the next location, and we see our two blue flowers as the indicator. This is another situation where you're going to want to use that end of the ramp as a ramp. And then we have a small jump here on our left. We'll climb up one, hop over, and then climb up again. Now this one's very important to recognize that it is not a run and jump. It is a walk and jump, both of the jumps. This next one is a run and jump, but you don't want to run down to the bottom of the ramp. You want to jump just as it's starting to go down. And behind us here we see our next jump location. We're going to want to get all the way to the edge of this ramp and jump at the end of it. Once you complete the jump, there's two climbs up to the left. And it was a little tough for me to find initially, but there's actually another climb just above. It's just a pretty tall one, so it wasn't very recognizable. Another one to our right. And then we see another escapee here. But we're trying to get to the platform just across the way right there. And this is going to be a run and a jump. But we're going to take it at an angle to avoid hitting any other rocks. As you land, you're going to want to push to the left to make sure you don't fall off the platform. Climb up to that one and then that one. After some shenanigans, we follow the path to the left. But this is actually the incorrect path. Behind us are two arrows on the wall. That took me forever to recognize. But when I finally did, I realized that we probably hit a dead end and we should be going this way. Make the jump and climb up to see your next flower. Off to the left is the next platform and it's a run and jump. And we're going to be taking an angle similar to the platform earlier.
just ahead here where you saw the other escapee is the next location in the maze. Now this next part I got very confused. I had to ask a friend what to do. Uh, Brandon BRB on our Discord helped me out big time. There's a little cutout to the left here, and that's what we're going to take. There's a brownish red rocks that indicate it. Attention! Please direct your attention towards the front gates. Now you can guess because of the edit that this jump was kind of tough, so be careful. Make sure you run and jump. And take a look around at some of the scenery. But our next step is to our right here. We'll jump up on the ledge. Attention, attention. Please direct your attention towards the front gates. One of our guests has completed their rehabilitation and is being released. Let's give them and follow it down through the hallway. Good luck back in the world, civilian. Now this one isn't that hard but I had to mentally prepare myself for it. I was really scared because from this visual, it looks really tough. It looks like there might be one small platform, but you can actually jump straight across. Like I'm doing here, I'm giving myself as much room to make this jump as possible. But again, you have some room behind, so you're able to make a pretty decent jump. And there's the exit sign. But we're not done yet. Now I just want to quickly point out that the numbers in that blue room are significant. You use them to unlock a rover when we get out.
next part of the maze is going under here. And it took me a second, but it's actually a ledge right here that you can climb. And then it's kind of difficult, but you have to crouch down and kind of creep out. We at Clesher want to remind you that this kind of behavior is not acceptable, and ultimately, running from responsibility hurts you more than it hurts us. Now at this point, getting that message means you're officially out, but you're not out of the woods yet. There's going to be a step up here that's missing, so make sure you notice it and don't fall down that hole. Now after this, hopefully you have somebody coming to pick you up, and like I said earlier, that rover could come into play. And once we officially kind of get to the surface here, I'll show you how that works. Now it took a second there, but eventually you'll see that the outside temperature reached 224 degrees C. And we're going to die pretty quickly if we don't find help. So I reach out trying to find somebody in gen chat to see if they can come and pick me up, but nobody comes. So that rover comes into play here. Now if you go to one of these boxes, on the back side, there's a number pad. If you put in those numbers that match with the box, there should be a rover inside. Unfortunately, I didn't know this until after the fact, so I'm sorry I don't have it for this video, but uh, yeah, that should work, and that should allow you to hide from the temperature as well as gain some oxygen. But unfortunately, I do end up dying at the end of this video. Hopefully you do not. But that's gonna be the end of this one, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I put a lot of effort into this one. It is now 2.30 in the morning, and I'm finishing just the audio portion of this video. Uh, I gotta put it up. I'm probably gonna post it during tomorrow's stream or something. So make sure you hit a like, comment, share it with anybody who you think needs it, and make sure you guys check out my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash salty mic. See you guys next time.